before we get started, please like the video and subscribe and leave comments. Feel free to leave comments down below. I would really appreciate it. I can, if you have any questions or want me to do something, I would greatly appreciate that. I'll answer, answer as much questions as I can. Uh, if you have any, I know it's kind of early, so I understand if you don't leave a comment or anything. It's pretty early, but I, I appreciate it. The people who are watching, it's been growing decently fast, I think. If we keep this up, I'm, maybe in a year I'll be, who knows, 100 subscribers, 1,000. You know, that would be awesome. But please, uh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the like button. And also click the notification bell so you don't miss any, any upcoming videos. And let's get on with it. Hello everybody, my name is Kamu McClung, welcome back to Red House Gaming. Um, today we're going to be continuing the Villager Survival Challenges on Minecraft, Episode 2. Now in the last video we came across this nice open area. We have that stone mountain over there, the sand pillar things over there. <laughs> and then we got the normal dirt mound, and then we're starting work on my mansion. Um, that's going to be the start of uh, the Villager village, town, city, whatever, depending on the sizes. Now the challenge, if you didn't watch the last one, um, is the survival challenges are, it's a challenge that I have to beat the entire game of Minecraft with Okay, so today we're going to be continuing building here, and then eventually I'll find Maybe put a room in here for my villagers, because I'm going to need to spawn those. So anyway, let's get to work. So now I'm going to chop down some tweeds. And get some wood. And so a time lapse probably will start. Okay, so we managed to get a decent amount of wood. This should be able to do the foundation. Um, the foundation... Let's see. <laughs> I can't remember what the foundation size is going to be. 9 by... Yes, it's going to be a 9 by 12 or 12 by 9. I can't remember. Yeah, right. <laughs> we plant some of these saplings. Get them growing. Alright. Hoop. Da shoop. Da yoop. <laughs> Yoink. Alright. So I'm going to tell you some of the tips. Like I said in the previous video, that I was going to show you some tips on how to build this simple setup that allows you to build a mansion really easy and it's. A pretty good looking mansion. Although maybe this is not going to be so mansion size because I'm kind of making it a little smaller than typically I would. Typically I would make it, uh, I've made some 20 by 10, no, 20 by 18 is my biggest one I've done. And this one's much smaller. <laughs> I'm 
trying out a new sensitivity because the other one was too slow and it's kind of hard to get used to it. Okay, so we've finished the foundation. So now, in the previous episode, you might be wondering what the heck am I talking about by squares and stuff if it doesn't really make much sense. Much sense. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and start building mine, and then I'll show you when it's done. I'm, this is going to go into a time lapse, so I'll see when, it's f when I have the walls up. Or when I have the... Bottom of the wall. Wall. And then I'm going to show you what a neat way to do the windows and stuff. Okay, so now we're back. I managed to build the wall around here, the beginning of the wall. You can kind of see it's coming around. Actually, I'm going to add two more here. Um, so you can see I added a porch. Well, kind of a porch. Or just like that extra... I'm probably going to trim this stuff off here. Because it was just supposed to make a small hallway into the entrance. Because the first... I was trying to do that when it was this size and it's just too small. I made this one just too small. So, I'm going to go ahead and trim this off, and now I'm going to start building the wall, the yeah, walls and windows, which, this mansion has a lot of windows, like I said in the previous video, so you're going to need a lot of sand, so it's a good thing I have this here. I did not invite you, foo! Anyway, so now I'm going to tell you how to do the... A cool way how to do the walls and windows and stuff. What it requires is a lot of any type of log you want. I find oak log, oak or spruce log, a good log to use. Probably oak is probably the better one, but it really just depends on what material you're using. Like if you're, I think it would be better if you used, if you're using Never mind. Flex some of these saplings. Plant the saplings. I was gonna say, why am I not running? Because I'm hungry. Chomp on potatoes all day. And that's another thing I need to start getting is food and st yeah, food and furnaces and stuff. To make me food. Alright, so I'll gather some logs. And then we'll be back. Okay, so I just got a few logs. Just to show you what I'm going to do. These are going to be like the frame. So you go here. You start here at the door. Place five of them. Let's see. One, two, three. Or depending on how... 
depending on the height you want your mansion. I always do five because that's a nice number. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And that's all I had. So you would do that all the way across. So you do another pillar here on that corner. Another pillar here. Let me make sure I got this even. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yes. You also want to make sure it's even or else your mansion is going to be crooked. It's, trust me, I've done that before and it sucks. Because I finished the whole thing and then saw that and it looked ugly. So then you do it every th three for this size. Let's see. So we have one here. One, two, three. Put another pole here. One, two, three. Put another pole here. One, two, three. And put a pole there and, and so on. Which I think I actually got this foundation perfectly. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to go collect more, and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back, and I got quite a bit of logs. We'll see if that's enough. So, leave a three gap. Three block gap. Then go up five. Now before I do the others, I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to do. So now we have the pillars. It's going to be like this all the way around. Then what you're going to do is take your... Spruce, yeah, spruce. As I say, making sure I said the right thing, and then go across. Okay, let's see. The door, two doors will be here. So, put that across there. Oh, oh that doesn't go there. These go on the top, the very top, or not very top. They go across like that. Yes. <laughs> remember if it was like that because I have several mansion designs and I'm thinking of all of them so I can't really quite remember it so you're gonna do that all the way across once you got all your pillars and stuff I was just doing it right now to show you and then if you want to if you make it big enough or if, if you can bring want to bring it down you can bring that down make that a two block window thingy and then put these on top of that to make it a bigger window if that's what you wanted to although these ha already have quite a bit of windows so one two three or I forgot <laughs> I'm gonna do this is just come across and then lay these on top and not mess up I think I think that's the correct. Yes. And now I'm going to do the time lapse to show you the rest. Oops, I <laughs> made that block wrong. Oh, please. Anyway, time lapse beginning.
Okay, so we're back, and this is what it looks like right now. It may look kind of odd at first. It may look like, what the heck are you building? Maybe, maybe not. But once you put the roof on and everything all comes together, it looks quite nice, actually. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and put, we'll put cobblestone here, I think. Yeet. Cobblestone. Actually, you leave this gap out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really quite remember my last mansion design. Is that what I did? No. I did leave that there. Whoops. Alright. It's been such a long time since I've done this. Hmm. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And if it looks weird, then I'll change it. So we got those two there. Now we put on our doors. And this, that, all the way across, is going to be windows. Why do I have a dark oak log in my hand? Oh, because I keep hovering over the planks. Let's grab my doors. The spruce door is probably my favorite door. Especially with castles and stuff. Hmm. Something seems off here. Hmm. Fish. Anyway. So now let's start gathering sand for our windows okay so we finally finished all the windows here's what it looks like from the inside it's coming along quite well actually here's from the outside looking good now the it looks it doesn't look too well without the roof because the roof always adds that spunk to buildings all right so you probably saw in the time lapse it took a, long, a while, and so I was doing, I was waiting for it to smelt, the glass to smelt. I was going out and killing some drowned and gra gathering some wood for the roof and stuff like that. It took me probably about 20 or so minutes to do all this. It would have gone faster if I started smelting this at the very beginning. That's probably, that probably would have been better for me to do is if I started smelting this as soon as we got here. Built the furnace, got all the sand, and then started doing that. These I might remove and actually make this a porch because that doesn't really look too good. Yeah, I'm going to do that because it's... That is not good. Because this how I did this before in a mansion. I can outpost... I'll show you the picture here. Um, it was a bit different in how I built it, definitely compared to this, because this one, you definitely want to build them bigger. This one, I think I built too small. Although, I, I'm, it'll still look good, hopefully. And now, what's ne le next bleh, left is to put the roof on, which I'll go ahead and start doing the f flat part of it. I'm going to make it a slow roof, and then that'll probably be the end of the video, because that's probably taking, it's taking quite a bit already. Alrighty, so we're going with oak wood for the roof. Go ahead and feel all this in. Okay, so now we finished the roof. It's, here it is with the roof finished, and it's quite dark. And now all we have to do is put the sloped part of it on, and then we should be rocking and rolling. Uh, so let's get into the video here. We're getting into the video here. So I hope you enjoy. Hope you maybe learn a few things. Hope maybe you, you teach me a few things. Um, I don't know. Whatever you think. But anyway, I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. It would really help me a lot. And feel free to leave comments. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.